everyone, this is my 36 week pregnancy vlog. I have a list of things uh, so I don't forget. Um, symptoms I've been having lately. Um, sleeping is not going so well um, still, but I've been having a lot of um, hip pain, it's particularly on my uh, right side. Uh, I do get it on my left, but when I get it on my right from sleeping um, on that side for a while, it seems to shoot down my thigh into my knee. Um, I do sleep with like a pregnancy pillow. It really should have been re-fluffed or something. Sorry, this is irritating me. My dress. Um, so it's not like the thickest, but I try and finagle it for the night. Um, yeah, so I'll turn it. Today was weird because usually I will wake up and I feel that my hip or side hurts and I'll turn over because I don't want it to hurt anymore. Um, but today, this morning I kept waking up and I'd, I'd turn over and then it would I'd be like, oh wow, that really hurts. Like, why didn't I feel that when I was laying before? Um, and yeah, so my, my left side, it just stays in my hip. It doesn't shoot down to my knee or anything. It's, I mean, it, it hurts enough that I'm like, oh, that really hurts. But it doesn't hurt enough to keep me awake. So I immediately fall back asleep uh, after turning over. And um, the pain is gone by the time I have to, when I wake up again. Um, chest tired, probably from the lack of good sleep and sleep. I find myself waking up around 7 um, just for no reason, even though I've gone to bed at any time. Um, I could go to bed at 9 and wake up at 7. I could go to bed at midnight and wake up at 7. Just And then also lack of, I mean, uh, shortness of breath. I find that when I'm talking a lot or just, I mean, walking and stuff like that is fine. It's just because probably because I'm going slower than I normally would. So I'm not like super out of breath then. But um, baby's taking up a lot of space. <laughs> Um, cravings I've been having, it's just anything sweet. I really want ice cream a lot. Um, when we were on vacation we had ice cream, like, every, every day, if not every other day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was vacation. Um, and people love to buy my son ice cream for some reason. So, I'm gonna take them up on that too. <laughs> uh, Cheerios. I really like plain Cheerios. Um, growing up we weren't allowed to have... Um, sugary cereal. Uh, so I grew up really liking plain, boring Cheerios. And I also really want iced coffee. Um, I got into... Sometimes I, I, I try not to buy it out as much because it gets very expensive. Um, so I've been getting some like the ones, the ready-made ones that you just pour over ice. But I have to add milk into it also like it's, you're supposed to just like drink it how it is um, but it's a little bit too thick um, and so I milk it down <laughs> um, let's see the freezer meals so I am I hear him I hear my son freezer meals I have I'm so proud of them <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> they're all crock pot meals uh, that I've done so far. I'm trying not to heat the house up. It today is particularly humid and disgusting, and um, I can just see that next month is probably not going to be any better. So I made all frozen crock pot meals. So I'm going to list them off for you because I'm very excited. Oh, I'm lying. One of them is not a crock pot meal. Actually, it made two servings, so it's, you know, two. I feel like he's sneaking around. Uh, chili, um, that with hat has, um, 
ground turkey in it. Sloppy Joe's, which actually has ground beef. I'm trying not to do everything chicken or turkey. Like, you know, you know, you need to have some variety um, when we don't eat beef all that much. Um, apple butter pork chops, meatballs, um, and those are going to make two, um, two meals. Those are also beef um, and sausage. Uh, this is a vegetarian meal. It's a sweet potato basil soup. Um, beef stroganoff, which is obviously beef. <laughs> um, then we have uh, creamy salsa chicken, creamy ranch uh, potatoes and pork chops, barbecue cranberry chicken, and korma chicken. I didn't want to have just tons of frozen chicken we would get really bored. <laughs> I also finally made, well finally, I also made um, the lactation cookies that I had seen um, on another woman's video. They're really good. Um, even, <laughs> it's funny because my husband was like, do I get one? And I was like, do you want to start lactating? <laughs> he was like, one's not going to do that. Um, they, I made a chocolate chip and I also made a um, walnut Heath bar because it's got you know, those little like teeny Heath pieces you can buy in the bakery section and coconut um, so two batches I should have taken the one batch and split it up like the girl did in the other video but I didn't think to do that because I wanted a lot of cookies you know thinking she would probably made more later no. Uh, the web, the website, the link, um, sorry, the blog that I got them from that she had linked in her video, um, said it was going to make 24 cookies. Um, I don't know how big this woman made her cookies because m each of mine made between 45 and 50 cookies and they're, you know, good sized cookies. You know, they're not small, uh, but they're not massive. Um, so I gave about 20, um, to a friend of mine who just had a baby, <clears throat> um, less than a week ago and gave her actually some of the, there's two specific ingredients that are kind of like uncommon and you'd have to go and buy, um, brewer's yeast and flaxseed meal. I've already for some reason had the flaxseed meal for something else. I don't know. Uh, it was never open. Obviously we never made <laughs> whatever it was for. Um, but the brewer's yeast I bought on Amazon and I was like, I'm just going to give her a few tablespoons of this if she wants to make her own because there's no use in buying it. If you're only going to use X amount of tablespoons. So that was that one. Um, Friday I have my appointment um, to see the position of the baby. I again just don't think it's moved. I have just no sense. I mean, the baby's sloshing around in there, and I have felt, I want to say, like, Thursday of last week, that, like, kind of, like, big painful movements, but I can't say that where it went, honestly. Um, there's so many things we still have to do. <laughs> we have to install the car seat and get the breast pump out and... We have set up the pack and play to, just to see how much room we have in the room, in our room. Um, and then we took it back down. <laughs> um, I Most particularly, I have to pack a bag. I haven't started packing anything. Um, and I may do a video on that. I may not. It just depends on when I have free time. Um, I made a video yesterday for my other channel. And my son was like jabbering in the background. Then he was just annoying me. And, and then the cat was walking in the way. And it was just a mess. And it took me a few tries because I just couldn't do it. <laughs> um, movement lately has just been really like... Bleh. Like that's how my stomach looks. Um, also the baby's been getting the hiccups at least once a day. Um... Last thing, I wanted to show you all the things that I have this week that I've bought. Um, hear the ice cream truck? 
I don't know where it's coming from. Um, my, we'll start with this one because it's on top. Um, I bought this backseat mirror. It is made by Cozy Greens. They, um, it says that they donate at least 5% of their profits to charity. Um, that's, I mean, that's great. You know, obviously you should give to the less fortunate. It wasn't the main reason I bought it. Um, this is the mirror. Obviously you just could see that. Um, but this is the part that I like. This, um, with my son, it was so hard to get, you know, to position the mirror where you need, could see the baby, especially if, um, we're going to be using my car a lot more. And if I'm not driving, obviously my husband's driving and he's, uh, at least six inches taller than me. Um, and so to be able to move it easier than the crappy mirrors we had with my son, um, is really what we need. Um, and so I'm pretty excited that it can kind of, you know, position it. Uh, I hope it works really well because it wasn't that expensive. I mean, I can't remember how much it was, um, but they had other like fancier ones that had lights and, uh, but this one hopefully will work and it's really big. So hopefully it'll be good. Um, I also bought these off of Amazon, pure protein bars. How many are there? Six. Um, again, I need to focus on protein. Um, so if I'm up in the middle of the night, snacks like these are what I am going to be needing. Um, I don't want to be just scrounging for something in the middle of the night. Um, and it's not going to keep me sustained while I'm breastfeeding or just up rocking the baby and that aren't you know I don't want things that are just crap basically so I got those somebody um in the weight loss community had rec said that they were good there's another brand this one's our cranberry almond cashew there's another like tropical one um, my son when we told him um, that I was pregnant, um, I made him, like, I had a white shirt, and I made, didn't make it, I bought an applique, um, he's only worn it, like, that one day, and the applique started to come off, um, it was, like, an iron-on transfer, that's what it was, um, and so I went on Amazon, and I bought him this one, yeah, there's been a lot of Amazon boxes coming to our house lately, so I got him this, uh, it's a size extra small. I think it's going to actually be a little bit big on him. Um, what am I trying to say? Um, but I think the blue is going to look really nice on him because of his skin tone and his blue eyes. Okay. okay. I'll save that for after this. I bought a package of size 1 diapers. Um, I had pretty sure I told you we played on cloth diapering, but I also don't know how long until we start cloth diapering. We haven't gotten them down yet. Um, I think I need to prep them again. I'm not sure. Um, but also, um, it's, I don't want to say it's impossible to cloth diaper in a brand newborn. Um, but because their legs are so skinny and you know what I mean, it can create problems like leaking and stuff like that. And to just reduce stress, um, I just want to buy some disposable diapers. I'm trying to think. Sorry, these are the newborns. Trying to see. It says less than 10 pounds for the newborns. And these say 8 to 14 pounds. God willing, I don't have a 10 pound baby, but <laughs> um, you can, a baby quickly turns into 10 pounds, you know, a, a week or two after. So, um, you know, it's well, depending, <laughs> my son was eight pounds. So, okay. And then I picked up some adult diapers, <laughs> uh, not real adult diapers. These are the overnight maxi, like gigantoid pads. 
Uh, I, TMI, did not bleed that much with my son. Uh, pretty much as soon as I got home from the hospital, I was done bleeding. Where I, I know some people are bleeding for weeks afterwards. Um, I don't know if it's because of the C-section. I mean, I was, I assumed it was because of the C-section. They like kind of cleaned you out a little bit. But um, I had other friends who'd had C-sections and they said, no, 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 no. I still bled for a long time. <laughs> So I bought those with him, uh, with Finn. I um, had soaked some pads in witch hazel, um, assuming that I was going to have a natural childbirth and that those would help me heal or just at least feel better. Um, so you soak them in witch hazel and then you freeze them so they're nice and cold and uh, have the nice witch hazel healing powers but uh, obviously I never use those so I'm not going to do that um, as of right now um, we'll see um, on Friday what, what's going to go on um, I finally bought oh I forgot the bib um, it's going home outfit it was really hard I kind of wanted something rainbow themed but then I couldn't ever find anything I liked. Um, and then the children's place was having um, a sale. And so this says from a 7 to 11 pounds. It's size 0 to 3. I got ooh, this little onesie. It also came with like, um, if, you, if you've seen those like bandana bibs. It's like, it looks, it's a bib, but it looks like a bit like a bandana. And it's this teal color with... Um, gray stars on it and I obviously left that in the kitchen but you can see the pattern it seems very gender neutral to me I don't know maybe I'll hate it when we get there but I don't have anything like specifically for a girl or specifically for a boy uh, I actually left it in the other room but I did buy one hair bow uh, Walmart had these it's about this big um, hair bows they were only a dollar um, I figured if it was a girl, I got white so that we could just like stick it on the hat or something like that. Um, and if I don't have a girl, then I could just give it to somebody else. It was only a dollar. Uh, the last two things I have to show you are made by me. <laughs> um, I knit and crochet, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if to make hats or I didn't know if I, I don't know. So. I decided to make um, two blankets. So this is obviously the girlish one. It's like a chevron type pattern. So then I wanted to make this pattern in light blue, dark blue, and gray. And I started making it and then realized I was making it um, way too big. <laughs> um, so actually I'm going to finish it. Um, and it'll actually fit on my son's bed. <laughs> uh, so then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to make this one. So this is for boy. Um, I don't have much of this left, so this one is probably not going to be as big <laughs> as the other one, but unless I can find some more. Um, but that's it. Um, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.